What's up? What's up? What's up? I, I have missed you guys so very much. I have missed volleyball so very much. I haven't played and it feels like forever. For It feels like forever. But I definitely miss making videos. Like, it has been extremely hard not to make that many videos. If the reason, <gasps> no, Ella, you broke your leg. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, boo. Yes, yeah, so I haven't been able to make videos because if you guys didn't already know, I moved. I moved from my, my home to a different state. And because I moved to a different state, I haven't found a volleyball club yet. And because I haven't found a volleyball club yet, I haven't had the opportunity to play and I haven't had the opportunity to film. So that's why I haven't been able to post a video and I am so sorry about that. It has broken my heart not being able to post. How are you guys doing? I know that I know that my channel right now is kind of like in a chance of like it's in a transition right now where I haven't been able to post a video. Um, but would you guys like some talking videos right now until I get the opportunity to post some videos? Would that would that be something that you guys like? Um, something towards some, like more confidence stuff like that. Hi from the Philippines. Hi Jacqueline. I just definitely want to give you guys, I honestly want to give you guys the best quality possible. I want to give you guys the, you deserve the best. You deserve the best. You guys are amazing. You guys make my day every day. Seeing those comments from you guys and seeing you guys' Snapchats and Instagrams, they have been wonderful. They make my day, make my week, gosh, they make everything. So I definitely want to give you guys the best that you guys deserve, really. Really, you guys, you guys have made my YouTube dream come true. Um, I've been doing, if you guys didn't already know, I had a channel before this channel and I had been doing YouTube for about two years and I never thought that it would become something like this. I never thought that the amount of love you guys show me, the amount of appreciation, you guys show me so much respect and I respect you because I want you to be the best volleyball player that you could ever be. I want you to grow and become beautiful women or young men. I want you guys to become wonderful people and I want you to find somebody to look up to and that's what I aspire to be. I aspire to be a great role model for you. Um, I want you to see what it's like to live a positive life so that's what that's what i want for you hey emma that's what i want for you guys i want you guys to be happy i want you to be happy and i want to give you guys the best quality okay let's answer some questions okay whoa you guys are you got me okay do you have any tips for someone who wants to be a middle hitter? i was a middle hitter jenna um you have to be quick so i would do some speed training for sure Alexia, hi, I have a question. How do I make my school's JV team? Okay, so um, JV is, stands for Junior Varsity. You guys already know that, but JV is it's pretty fun. I would definitely show the coach that I am confident, that I know that I can do it. I want to show them strength. Introduce yourself, most definitely. Yes, Lexiana, I did play volleyball in school. Since I'm 5'9", do you think I would have a greater chance of making the volleyball team? That is a really good chance. I'm 5'9", as well. I'm not 6' or anything. I'm just 5'9". But yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good chance. Height, height does have an advantage. However, if you are vertically challenged, don't be afraid. How do you become a libero? Libero or libero is one of the best passers on the team. So what I would do is I would really start working on passing, okay? Passing. Thank you much. Oh, and I'm so happy I was able to help you. Like I said before, I do these videos for you guys. I don't do these videos for money. I know a lot of YouTubers do things for money and stuff like that. I never do these things for money. I do this because I love you guys. I love making videos for you guys. I want you guys to go off and play college and I want you to go, and if you wanna do Olympics, I want you to play Olympics. I want you to be a great volleyball player. Hey, Cindy, how can I improve my serve because I can't get the ball over the net? How is your toss, Cindy? What does your toss look like? Because 80% of the, it's the toss. I have tryouts. You gotta try, girl. You gotta try. I'm 5'8", Millie Blocker. Okay, do, what, do you, what position do you wanna play, Guinea? Oh, thank you, Tazia. Have I been never, ever been nervous? Yes. 
Lexiana, I have been nervous before. Believe me. Oh, thank you, Giselle. I'm excited for you guys. I wish I could play volleyball in a competitive environment again. Okay, let's see. How can I improve my serve? No, it's not because you're skinny. Fall in love with um, uh, volleyball, Emma. It's okay to be good at more than one sport. Thank you, Safana. Okay, you're 4'11". That's okay. The video I'm going to post tomorrow is going to let you see some volleyball players who are around your size. My serving is bad. I need help. Okay, Tazi, what do you need help with? You want to play right or outside? Outside is fun. Outside get a lot, gets a lot of hits. Right side is kind of a backup setter. Ashley, I want to be a, li a libero. Um, what are some tips? I would definitely work on passing. Most definitely start working on your passing. Madaj, last year I tried attending a volleyball workout, but I was shy um, to go to tryouts. Okay, that's okay. It's okay to be nervous. It's okay to be shy. But what I want to do as a your online coach is I want to help you move through that. My favorite position, Giselle, I play everything now, but I love playing outside. Like, I love playing outside. I've been nervous because, oh, you're great. Thank you, guys. I really, guys, I want you to be confident. Um, if you have any questions about confidence, do, if you want me to do a video on confidence, let me know. Hey, Hannah, I started playing when I was in the 10th grade. Upper hand strength. Did you see my volleyball workout video? My favorite type of serve? I like doing jump float serve. Thank you for answering all our questions. I'm trying. I'm really trying. I really like, I, I really try to make a point to answer a lot of comments. Um, I might not get to them right away, but I really do try to answer all my comments. My coach tells me that I have a powerful pass, but I can't control it. It takes time. The power is within you. It just takes time. Oh, thank you, Angie. Thank you, Islamic Reminders. Thank you. I appreciate that. I want to be a good coach. I play outside, but my coach had me play outside front row and back row. I wouldn't have made the team without your tips. Thank you for what you do. Thank you, guys. I'm a Scorpio hacker. Um, I'm nervous to practice. Thank you. I just did my hair. It's really cool, right? Um, I asked my mom if I could do online coaching with you, but she said she likes money. <laughs> Oh no, I don't like money. Okay, how can I improve my serve? Okay, your toss is good. Okay, are you leaning into it? You're very good at explaining things. Thank you. I have been a coach, Lexiana. Um, I do have some workout ideas, Addison. Um, I would look at my channel, but then you can look at my other channel. My other channel has fitness things on it. What state do I move to? I moved to Pennsylvania. Thank you, Tazia. Pollyanna, my overhand serve is good, but it doesn't go very far. Okay, is your toss, I know I keep saying look at the toss, but really look at the toss. Do you feel like you lean back or are you coming too forward? What position do you think is good for a tall girl? It depends on what you want to do, Madaj. How do you look confident in volleyball tryouts? I made a video on that. I love your video. Thank you. I need help with my overhand serves. It hits the net. I need the exact form of workouts because I'm kind of scrawny. Oh, that's okay, boo. Thank you, Ala. Oh, wait, whoa, Alondra. Alondra, thank you. <laughs> I am a coach, Luciana. Th Don't be jealous, Emma. Don't be. You're beautiful, too. I see your picture. Alexia, I'm 5'6 and 14. I don't know what position to play or train for. Have you played before? How do you set a ball that's coming towards you? It's kind of like, let me think of a way how I can do it. You kind of have to ex intercept the ball as it's coming to you. Does that make sense? How can I improve my vertical jump? Okay, there's lots of jump training. There's box jumps, there's squats, things like that. My other channel's name is on my channel page. It's lipstick, the, le the symbol and, and then space, lifting. What is my biggest struggles playing volleyball? One of my biggest struggles playing volleyball was I came into a volleyball environment where Everybody else knew what to do and knew what they were doing, but I didn't. And if you, if you watch my volleyball story, I came into an environment where everybody had been playing for years and years, and I had just started playing, and I got nervous because I felt like I wanted to give up because I felt like I... <sighs> I felt like a loser. I felt like a loser because I didn't know what I was talking about or anything. So, you know, I felt, you know, but you know what? I didn't give up. And I thought, I told myself, I said, Coco, you know what? You are an athlete. You're a great person. Be confident and show people what you have. Show them, show them what you got. And I did it. I showed them what I got. 
you have that's what you have to do you have to go in there and you have to pump yourself up you have to be your best friend you have to be your biggest fan i was my biggest fan throughout the game when everything would go wrong if i sit there serve the ball in the net or if I hit the ball over the net and it went out or something like that, I wasn't so hard on myself. And I feel like a lot of you guys are hard on yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself. Love yourself because that's the only you you've got, right? If there was no volleyball, what sport would I play? Well, I also throw discus. If you Do you guys know what discus is? I haven't made a video on ball control yet. How do you get over the fear of diving the ball? Now, diving for the ball is, a lot of people are a little bit nervous to dive for the ball. Um, but it's one of those things you have to do. So I would slowly start training how to do it by myself and then go for it in the game. I played before. My coach is asking if I want to play DS or D2. I'm not sure. What do you think you're better at? I love being a middle. Oh, I love being a middle too. This is a tip I thought I would share. When setting, my coach taught me the shape of your hands is after you holding a bowl or in a triangle just above your head. That is true. When you're setting, you want your hand, I broke my nail, you guys. You want your hand to be ball shaped. Shape your hand like you're shaping around the ball. You kind of want it to be like a window, like you can see through the window, and then push out. Remember, it's only fingertips. Do you have any tips on how I can get better at my approach? I have tryouts and a few days and I'm nervous. Have you been practicing your approach? The best way to get better at things is practice makes perfect. My coach makes us put our hands on our hips, then raise them. I can see that. I can see that. I've been getting bruising my knees and on my knee pads or the way I'm diving. Are you falling like directly on your knees? Like the, here's the floor and you come and you go, that could hurt. How do I improve on getting low, getting low balls? Are you getting down low? How is your stance? I can't over and serve like it doesn't go over the net, but it's so close. Okay. Are you leaning all the way into it? Or are you coming like this? You have dinosaur arm. I'm not active on that channel right now, Tazia. I know. I miss that channel. Oh, my God. I love it. What tips do you have for high school? Hi, Carolina. Is it Carolina or Carolina? Ooh, I don't want to. Nicole, who is my favorite volleyball player right now? I don't know. I got to think about that. Carolina. Um, have you seen my tips video? I think I reiterate everything on there. Any tips on blocking? I'm making a blocking video. Hi, no, Lonnie. I really want to go to play this live, which is in Florida, but we shall see. My coach says that, that to have more control on the ball, stay low and use your legs to pass. It's a combination between legs and arms. How can I better memorize my rotations? When I was learning my rotations, what I did was I got a whiteboard. Um, you know those whiteboards you can get from like Dollar Tree? Ribbits. Come here. I got a whiteboard and I would write the rotations on the whiteboard and I would continue to do it every rotation. Okay. It's okay, Alexia. It's okay to be nervous. How do I get rid of being scared of hitting? Okay. So when you're hitting the ball, how much practice have you had hitting the ball? Because that's the reason why you might be nervous. I love my coach, but she's not good at coaching. Oh no, little universe. Do I have a volleyball dream, Paulina? You know what my volleyball dream is? My volleyball dream is be able to help you guys with your volleyball dream. Really, that really for real is my dream. I know this is weird, hold on. Rufus, come here. I know this is weird, but how do I put on knee pads properly because it is a good size, but it, okay, it might be too big. How do you know when to hit the ball? The ball, when you're hitting the ball, it should drop just a little bit and it should be right above your head. There is a dog, Rufus. Come here. I think he has to use the bathroom. Come here. He's coming. Come here. Come show them your sweater. Come here. Come here. Show them your sweater. Look, you guys. It's Rufus. Oh, oh he looks like a rat. Look at his cute skull sweater. <laughs> He's so funny, guys. Oh, this Rufus. Look how cute he is. Oh, you're such a bad dog. Um, okay, let me go back to the questions, Rufus. You're distracting me. Do you think I'll get on the team if I can't serve really good? The team, making the team is the opportunity for you to practice. I don't think. Okay, so 
as a coach, okay, I don't expect everybody who comes to play volleyball to know what they're doing. I want you to grow with the team. So I feel like you guys have the impression that to make the team, you already have to be good. That's not always the case. Making the team is a chance for you to develop your skills to become better. Even when you're on the team, there are things you're going to have to learn. Tips for better timing on an attacking. So my timing is different with every setter that I have if that makes sense. Every setter sets differently. So what you need to do is you need to get with your primary setter. You guys need to work out how she's going to set you and what particular ball she's gonna set you. And then you need to work out with your own body and with her timing, the time that you need to go. Hello from Germany. We just said we love you. Ah, oh, thank you. It, your English was wonderful, Patrick. Do school teams only accept players who know how to overhand serve? No. They don't. They they accept everyone, okay? I don't I don't want you guys to be under the pressure that you have to overhand serve to make the team. Um you leave early. Okay, that means I want you to just count one Mississippi, two Mississippi, then try it. Can I do indoor volleyball trail drill? I'm making a blocking video, Guinea. Um, when I find a volleyball place. Diving in volleyball is like baseball. When you play catcher and you have to run straight to the plate, so you have to dive. That's that's a good analogy. You miss baseball, that's okay. Hey, Ashley. We did volleyball in PE, and my friend and I put correct rotations on the board because one of the questions on the test, and my teacher marked it wrong. We did it completely right. The teacher might not know exactly what they're talking about. Do you have any tips for getting the ball up when it hits the middle of the, oh, you mean like out the net balls? Do you guys wanna hear my out the net ball story? You have to give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up if you wanna hear my tragic, heartbreaking, out the netball story because it's good y'all to this day to this day i am still scarred for life that was a great question okay back when coco was a wee child in the 10th grade i had a coach and i reconcile your name but her the first part of her name was hardcore now this she was hardcore you guys hardcore we were playing this one game i'm scarred guys i was but we were playing this one game and i was a middle blocker okay and this is what a coco did not know what she was doing at all okay the ball went into the net and i stood there and watched it drop after that moment after that moment the next day of practice she said you're gonna go and you're gonna get the ball out of the net 50 times or else you're not leaving practice. I got the ball out of the net and dug and dug and dug and dug so many times where now I rarely, rarely miss, miss the ball out of the net. Like this is, every time that happens in a game, I just flash back. It's just like, have you ever seen when your like life flashes before your eyes? That's what happened to me. Every time I see the ball go into the net, like, you know, I just fly, I just run to go get it super speed because my life flashes before you guys. It was hardcore, man. Hardcore. I have another volleyball story if you guys want to hear it. I mean, if it worked, I guess holy, I guess it worked. I guess I guess it worked. Where's it? Get in the camera. Come on. Uh-uh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get in. I guess it worked, Polly. Okay, here's my other story, and then I'm gonna answer. I'm gonna answer some more questions. Okay, now, one time when we were playing, same year, guys. This was just a rough year. Okay, it was just rough. My tenth grade. I still didn't know what I was doing. Still did not know what I was doing. I still did not know what I was doing. Okay, so tenth grade. I had this teammate, and she was like, "You know what? I'm so hungry. I'm just gonna grab some nachos before the game." And I said whatever you do let's call it tina tina whatever you do hardcore is here do not and i mean do sorry patrick do not do not eat the nachos and she said you know what i'm just hungry i'm gonna eat them outside in the lobby and she won't even see me you guys what happened tell me what happened what happened did hardcore see her absolutely hardcore saw her 
she saw her the next day at practice she said since one of your teammates wants to eat nachos which is a fried food at a game we're gonna run bleachers for every nacho she ate I, that had to be the hardest day of my life <laughs> <laughs> that would be the hardest. That would be the hardest day of my life. The hardest day of my life. Ooh. I think how many nachos holy? I think we ran like at least twenty bleachers. <laughs> and I was like, how does she know? She must have sat there and counted. She must have sat there and counted. Do you guys want to hear another story? Because I have a lot of stories. I'll save some more stories for later, but I have one more story if you guys want to hear it. This is about the time I almost got knocked out. Like, I'm so serious. I almost got knocked out. We were playing at UNCW, which is the University of North Carolina Wilmington. We were playing at UNCW and we were doing a tournament. And you know how when you're serving the ball, when you guys are doing a warm up, you have one person, you have like both teams are, are serving at each other. Um, you know, both teams are serving at each other. So this is now, okay, this is why I no longer will serve during that time because of this story. So when the teams are serving at each other for the warm up, you know, I don't serve anymore at all. So what happened was I was serving the ball, serving the ball, doing my whole little thing. And I turned, I bent down to pick up a, a, a ball. I put, bend down to pick up a ball. I look up and this girl serves, smacks me dead in the face. I saw stars, you guys. Oh. My head snapped back and I was like, <laughs> so my piece of advice is when they're having open serve, please look at other people serving at you. Rufus. Ew. How come you eat? I think she was just being hardcore madage. Bye, little universe. Oh, hit you in the back of the head. Ooh, Guinea. Ooh. Yeah, Krista, that's how I learned a lesson. Yeah, I saw stars. Ooh, you got hit in the face. Ooh. Thumbs up if you've gotten hit in the face before. That's happened to me. Um. Ooh, you lost your adult tooth. Sorry, Hosanna. Ooh. I do have some jump serve tips. Ooh, everybody's been hit in the face. Oh my God. Oh my. We have to be more careful, you guys. We really have to be more careful because where do I get my volleyball from? The colorful one? I got that from Five and Below. Ooh, five balls per. Ooh. She got blue to the chest. Oh God. Oh, you got a nosebleed once? Ooh, how about this? Give me a thumbs up if you got floor burn. I got floor burn really bad one year. Oh, I got floor burn real bad. Floor, I think I think floor burn hurts way worse than hit in the face. I mean, that's me. I think floor burn hurts way worse. My glasses broke. Ooh. Floor burn hurts way worse. I don't know if you agree with me. Ooh, the elbow, yeah. Floor burn is the worst, especially when you get it on an elbow where you have to move your elbow. Oh, God. The flashbacks, you guys. The flashbacks. You guys are, you guys are bringing me back. Carry Band-Aids, yeah. How do you hit a ball when it's a perfect, not a perfect set? You have to learn to be a just. Long sleeve shirt. Ashley, that is a great idea. Oh, you got floor burn in your knees and your knee pads. Did you put on Neosporin? My I already broke my glasses in the first. Oh, girl. You might have to get the strap. You might have to get the strap. That will probably be helpful so your glasses don't fall off. Yeah, floor burn sucks. Yeah, floor burn on any joint. Your elbow, your knee, anything. Hey, Epic Volleyball. Hey, you guys, make sure to follow Epic Volleyball. That is my homie. Yeah, floor burn hurts anywhere you get it. Anywhere. Does it matter? 
Does weight matter? No, boo. Madaj, weight does not matter. I don't want you to let weight deter you from trying out for volleyball because you belong. I got four by my ankle. <sighs> yeah, four by my ankle sounds pretty bad. Let's think about what else. I have tryouts soon. How can I improve my overhand serve? Have you been practicing it? We scrimmage. You got this. Scrimmage is the most fun. You got, you're right, Ashley. You have to hide your pain if I make it to... Oh, Paulina. I would love to see you guys play in a game. One time it hit the ball. Mm. Oh, yeah. The ball hit over the net. One time I did bounce a ball over my head. That's happened before. Jamming your thumb while... S that does suck, Jalen. It's okay, um, Aylin. It doesn't matter. 5-1 is perfectly fine. I chose, okay, so in college, <clears throat> I'm going to tell you guys my, I'm going to save that. I'm going to save that for my college volleyball story. I took your tip. Oh, you made the tea. It's okay, Ryan. It doesn't matter what kids think. It's okay. I'm starting volleyball. I'm 5'9 and I'm 12. Oh, that's awesome. Any tips for beginner? When are you guys' tryouts? Do you guys know? Tell me when your tryout date is. Okay, your first game is in six days. Oh, wow. Are you guys in volleyball season right now? My volleyball season was like August to October. It's okay, Naomi. I want you to try again the next year. January? Really? What state are you in? When mom went to set the ball in high school, this later, yeah, that happens. I'm 4'11", I'm varsity, and I'm a freshman. You go ahead and slay, girl. January. I'm the best server on the team, but yet my teammates mess up all of a sudden. It's my fault. Don't worry about them. Worry about, don't, don't take criticism from other people. I want you to be confident within yourself. Illinois. Wisconsin. Canada. Now, you guys, the season is now. I had no idea, you guys. Georgia. Cali boy. Oh, Ashley's in the Cali. Oh, I like Florida too, Joan. I wish I was somewhere warm. It is snowing outside. Oh, no. Texas. Ohio. Newfoundland. Ooh, that's cool. Illinois. Virginia. I was just in Virginia. Mexico, hey! Minnesota, Dallas, North Carolina. I'm from North Carolina. People always say to follow the person when you're supposed to be following during rotations. I don't get it. We are going to go over rotations. Georgia, Illinois. I'm sweating in January. Arizona props. Yeah. It was nine degrees today, Paulina. Is spike and serve the same? No, they're not the same. What better arms do you hit the volleyball? You hit them with your four. Hit or pass? Pass with the with the forearm. Thank you, Karen. It's okay, Naomi. It takes practice. It takes practice. Yeah, Lily, I believe that. Newfoundland. Oh, Carolina, where was you at? That was negative five. Oh, my God. I can't. You guys, I can't. I can't. That's too cold for me. That is way too cold for me. I can't. I can't. Oh, God. Did you guys have jackets on? Like, 15 in North Carolina. I heard about that. Oh, my God. Today was negative. I can't. I can't imagine. I can't. I can't imagine. I do have a question for you guys, but you guys have to give me a thumbs up. I have a question, but I need a thumbs up. 57, ooh, that sounds wonderful. 80 sounds wonderful too. Oh, that sounds wonderful. I need a beach. I want the beach. Let's have a beach trip, beach vlog. That would be fun. Okay, here's my question. So, I'm currently looking for a new volleyball club here because I know you guys like watching my volleyball live streams and like watching me play volleyball. Would you like me to vlog me searching for a volleyball club to play with and continue that would that be something that you guys like to see i have my notebook here because i want to take you guys' ideas because once again i care about you guys' ideas you guys' ideas just are amazing so if you want to see vlogs give me a heart if you want to see vlogs i love vlogging i personally love vlogging but if you want to see vlogs give me a heart 
because I'm going to write it down. I love vlogs. And then you guys can go ahead for the last five minutes. You guys can give me you guys' suggestions. What do you want to see? What kind of videos interest you guys right now? I do have some cool videos coming up. But I want to make sure to give you guys videos that you guys want to see. You know? You guys deserve the best. And I do everything I try to give you the best. No matter what. All right. Ball control. Let's write it down. Challenges. Okay. Indoor drills. Defense. Hit ball harder. Okay, hold on, hold on. Workout song. More of me playing. Ah, thank you. In your house, you want house drills? Ooh, I can do that, boo. Coca can definitely do that for you. So indoor, when you guys say indoor, do you mean like at your house without a net? Is that what you guys are asking me to do? Key points. Home exercises, preparing for a tournament, uh, okay, tournament, outdoor, okay, so you want some outdoor, vlogs, okay, you guys like vlogs, yes, 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 off season, approach, off season, okay, Game tips and tricks, preparing for games, jump float serve. I have a jump float serve, Caitlin. Home exercises. Like you can do in your bedroom or living room. What to put, okay, I have that. What to put in your volleyball bag, okay? So you guys are clutch, okay? Love you guys. Types of hairstyles. You know what, Priscilla? I have to find a model for that um, to get a hairstyle video because I, I have some hairstyles. Okay, hairstyles. Let's see. Um... How not to be nervous, exercises without a ball, drills, more DS stuff, Muse, muscle memory. Okay, that's really cool, Cameron. Let me write that down. That's cool. Muscle. Rufus, what are you breathing so hard for? Volleyball bag essentials. Things to bring to a tournament. Footwork for early hair with sir. Tips to be mentally prepared. Hairstyle, good routines for warm up. Games to help you in volleyball. Middle ball routine. Outfits for practice. Ooh, that's a good one, too. I'm trying to write all these down, guys. You guys are awesome. Outfits for practice. Ooh, my foot's falling asleep. Home, how to prevent your past. A workout to stay in shape or off season. Types of volleyball, how to get stronger. <laughs> Shoes to wear, good routines. Oh, spot serving. Okay, I have a drill for that. Okay, so how to choose your jersey number. Oh, okay. That's cool. game blogs so do you guys enjoy watching me play do you guys like that oh yeah I'm glad you guys do I'm I'm gonna start vlogging I'm gonna start vlogging um, me finding a volleyball club so you guys might see a vlog. I love vlogging, guys. All right. For our last thing of our live stream, I really want to live stream once a week. I'm not sure what day it's going to be in yet, but I want to live stream once a week. But I do want to say I'm going to write down my email. You guys can email me. Um, I really like talking to you guys. So you guys can email me or you guys can send me really cool messages. Um, or if you want to just send me fan mail or something like that. I love hearing from you guys. I'm going to write down my email. You guys have a pencil? You guys have a pencil? How to dive correctly? I got that. I got you, girl. All right. Thumbs up if you have your pencil ready. So I can get this email, guys. Now remember, I'm going to try to email as many. I'm going to try to email back as soon as I can. 
but I love hearing from you guys. Re are we ready? Okay. Um. Do we have it? Coco Volley Club at gmail.com. Coco Volley Club at gmail.com. And if you want to see me during the day, I, I'm on Snapchat. Do you want me to write my Snapchat down too? Because I Snapchat a lot. Like a lot. I Snapchat a lot. It's becoming a problem. <laughs> I Snapchat a lot. Okay. At. I love the dog filter so much, you guys. Like, if they got rid of it, I would be heartbreaking. It would break my heart, okay? This is my Snapchat. This is my Snapchat. Instagram, I'm Coco.Volley. Coco Volley Club. Yep, that's right, Holly Muffin. Yeah, it would break my heart if they got rid of the dog filter because I do it, like, all the time. But I, yeah, you can Snapchat me. Snapchat me if you would like to. I love hearing from you guys. Um, you guys make it so worthwhile so worthwhile um okay since you guys are here before you leave this is what i want you to do are you ready for this i want to make a volleyball appreciation video okay i want to make a volleyball appreciation video i want you to send me a five second clip of you saying why you love volleyball five second clip of why you love volleyball okay so what you're gonna do is, you're gonna go on Instagram. Thumbs up if you have an Instagram. You're gonna Instagram. I want you to go hashtag Coco Volley Love. Cause I wanna watch you guys. I wanna see you guys' is Instagram. So hashtag Coco Volley Love. And for everybody that does this, I'm going to follow you back. Because I love y'all guys. Hashtag Coco Volley Love. It can be you at practice. It can be you. I'm going to do mine. I'm about to put on mine. You don't have to show your face. You don't have to show your face. I'm about to do mine, my Coco Volley Love. And I want to see you guys' Coco Volley Love. And I want you to spread the love. Because I want volleyball to be something we all love. Thank you guys so much. Oh, want my Instagram? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna write it down. Coco dot Coco dot Volley. That's my Insta. You got it? Okay. I love you guys. You can email me, Snapchat me. Do your Coco Volley love. I will see you guys next week. Look out for a video. Probably tomorrow. And we'll probably start vlogging. So bye. Bye, 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 bye. Bye, you guys. I look forward to seeing your Coco Volley love. Love you guys. Love you guys. Love you guys. You can send it to me on Snapchat, Carolina. Love you guys. Bye. I hope you enjoyed this live stream. Bye.